after making this perfect fit skirt the videos i tried to take on that day did not do justice to how beautiful and how fitted this skirt looked on me and i wasn't really happy about the um, after look videos but i'm still gonna try to make more videos and just post it on its own like that so that you guys can really see how perfect this skirt is okay so you know that it is not in my head <laughs> anyways we are on the sewing version and if you have not drafted out your pattern the video or the link of the video is going to be on the description box below so yeah welcome to the sewing version don't forget to like subscribe and let's get into the video so the first thing i'll be doing is cutting the front pattern so please grab your front pattern so here is my fabric i'm using ankara for this skirt i already told you guys on the pattern drafting so here i have my fabric folded into two and i'm just going to go ahead and iron okay please do not forget always fold your fabric into two So once I'm done ironing, I'm just going to place my front pattern on this fabric that is already folded into two. And I'll make sure that the edge of my pattern paper sits on the close edge of my fabric like this, okay? So the edge of your pattern paper, the center front, should sit on the close edge of your fabric. So go ahead and pin it down, pin your pattern down to your fabric. So while cutting my pattern on the fabric, I left half an inch round again. So yeah, you should do that. Um, I feel like it's necessary for you to still leave more sewing allowance. And when you're about to couple the front and the back piece together, you can um, sew in those allowances, okay? So yeah, I'm going to be leaving half an inch on the side again. So please watch what I'm doing. I still left 0 0.5 inch on the side that's more sewing allowance now I am going to be transferring the front that and this is pretty easy the first thing I'll do is I'm going to make a notch here on top of my pattern. So I'm notching the fabrics to indicate the starting point of the dart. This is on the waistline. So I'm making a little snips on the dart legs. So now that I have the starting point notched on the waist, I'm going to go ahead and use my chalk to indicate the stop point of my dart okay so i'm using one of my fingers to hold down the stop point and then on my fabric i'm just using my chalk to indicate that stop point okay one finger here hold and the other hand go to the um, fabric and indicate the stop point i'll take off my pins now and you know this fabric is folded into two so we need to also indicate the dart on the other side here so that's what I'm doing. I still use my finger to press down the stop point and indicate it on the side here or on the other side here. So now I have successfully transferred my dart to this side. And I have my notch here. And this is the front piece of the skirt. Okay, let me open this up so you see exactly what I have. And you should have the same. Now make sure you have two darts on your front piece. Okay left side and right side to that okay you see and here i have two and we are done with the front now cutting the back i'm going to grab my fabric for the back and iron it down remember to fold your fabric into two it is necessary okay fold your fabric into two and give it a good press And at this point, I want to just remind you guys, okay, again, to like this video, okay? You hardly do that 
maybe because i don't remind you enough and i'm doing that right now like this video so once i'm done with the ironing i'm going to grab my pattern paper my back pattern paper and i'm just reminding you here let your fabric be into two fold it into two okay so this is my back pattern and for this back pattern why cutting it you don't need the center back to sit on the close edge okay because we have the zip at the center back and it means that our fabric is going to be demarcated into two so you can just place your pattern however you see fit and cut okay make sure you pin first and then go ahead and cut now why cutting your back pattern also leave half an inch allowance on the side you can also decide to leave on the zip side too if you want to but remember that when sewing this in we're going to sew all the allowance in okay so that we can get the perfect fit that this skirt deserve okay So now I'm going to go ahead and indicate the sides on this fabric because it, it is demarcated into two. So I want to know which side is the side and which side is the zip side. I'm using my jock to do that to indicate which is which. And I'm going to transfer the back that, okay? Now just the same way we transferred the front that, that's the same way I'm going to be transferring my that. I'm going to make the notches on the waistline. So I'm making the notches on the fabric. To indicate the starting point of my dart and i'll use one finger to hold down the stop point of my dart and use my chalk to indicate that on the fabric okay just the same way i did on my front one finger holding the stop use your chalk to indicate that stop point on your fabric so i'm taking my pattern off so you can see what i have here i have two piece and this is for the back okay and while we're cutting all the cutting we did both for the front and for the back we marked all or we did all cutting on the wrong side of the fabric okay never forget that so now this is my back piece and i have two pieces like i said because of the zip our back piece is demarcated or divided into two so this is what we have or this is what i have on my own table two pieces for the back and this is how it looks So let's just go into sewing our piece together and trust me everything is going to be step by step of course okay this is vivian's channel and everything is step by step <laughs> i don't know why i said that but yeah the first thing i'm going to do is sew in my darts so here is my front piece and i'm going to be sewing in the two darts i have on the front piece and also do the same for the back okay so you can see the way i'm sewing my darts holding the two notch notches i have here i'll fold it into two like this and sew on the wrong side so i already have the stop point of my dart indicated on the fabric so i'm just going to sew from the starting to the stop point the starting is the place you have the notches and the stop point is the place you use your chalk to indicate So this is one leg of the dart done probably the right side of the dart done i'm going to repeat this step on the left side of the dart exactly what i did here i'm going to do the same thing on the left side of the dart okay i hold the two notches fold into two so from the wider part which is the starting point and then down to the stop point which is where i use my chalk to indicate okay you should have gotten it by now we did the first step and now this is the second step still on the front but yeah just make sure you do the same thing on your back pieces um so in your darts that's what i'm saying here so your back darts exactly what you did on the front and now let's go ahead and sew the back piece together let's join the two back pieces together so this are these are my two back pieces, and i'm going to adjust my meshing to four because i want this to be a loose stitch i'm sewing in that zip part i'm sewing in everything from the top of the waist to the down that's to the length i'm going to sew it by one inch 
i'm just trying to close in the zip side okay so this is one inch from the waist down to the length and i'm sewing this on the zip side so what i'm trying to do is close that zip side first and then do everything i want to do and later i'm going to like open up the parts for zip and then create my slits okay but for now i'm just using loose stitch to join the two pieces together so i can just continue and forge ahead to the next step until we come back to loosen it up fix the zip create the slits okay So I'm just going to go ahead and iron my both pieces together. I'm going to iron the back, especially where I have the zip sewn, that zip line, where we created the zip um, line. I'm going to iron, make sure everything lays flat, both on the dart, the front, the back. I'll iron it down and then we'll move into the next step, okay? You can never go wrong with just ironing before you take the next step. Trust me, you can never go wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and place my front and my back piece together and then I'm going to measure out my measurements, confirm my measurements before I sew my front and my back piece together, okay? So this is the front here and this is the back. I'll place this right side facing right side and then I'll go ahead and confirm my measurements. So first I'm confirming my hip. And from there, if I see the extra I have, I'm going to be using the extra to sew the skirts in. I'm going to confirm also the waist. And that is what I'll be using to sew my skirts in. Now, let's go ahead and mark the zip points and the slit points, okay? So, where we are going to be fixing the zip and where your slit is going to be stopping. Now, for my zip from the waist, I'm going to be coming down by 8 inches. Okay, so this is happening on the back and on the zip side, okay? I place my tape from the waist and I'll mark 8 inches down. So that is the space or that is the point my zip is going to be sitting. And then from the length of the back, still on the back, I'm going to mark 15 inches upwards. And that is going to be for my slit, okay? That is where my slit is going to be stopping. So from the base, I am marking 15 inches upwards. And that is how long my slit is going to be. That is how simple it is to create a slit. This type of slit. They have other type of slits you can create. But this type of slit is very easy to create. So I have my points indicated with my chalk. I'll go ahead and loosen this up. Okay. Both on the zip and on the base where I have the slit. I'll loosen it up. To the point where it is supposed to stop. Okay. So I'm doing the same on the slit. I'm going to loosen from the base to the point where my slit is going to stop. And then when I take this to the machine to sew, I'm going to sew from the stop point of the zip to the stop point of my slit. I'm going to sew it again with a tight stitch. Okay, so it doesn't loosen up. So the next thing we're going to do is also create the band that we're going to be using to attach to the skirt. Okay, so this is my fabric for the band I'm going to be using. And my fabric here is 3 inches. Um, that's the length of my band. And now the width of my band is my round waist plus extra 5 inches. Okay, so I'm going to be folding the edges of my band like this. Half an inch on the top, half an inch on the base. So it's, this is not a rocket science. Just look at what I'm doing. I am folding here on the top here by half an inch. And I'm using my iron to hold this down. Now most people like to use um, interfacing to make their band more stronger and more firm but i'm not doing this like this is like a practical for me okay when i'm sewing my men's skirt i can be including any other thing i want to include but right now no i'm not doing that i'm just going to iron this in like that without no interfacing okay so right now what i'm doing is ironing the down of the base to by half an inch and you can see exactly what i'm doing on my table
so once i'm done with the half inch on the top and on the base i'll fold this into two equal parts now this will automatically make my band one inch wide okay when i sew this on my skirt on my skirt <laughs> i don't know what i'm forming when i sew this on my skirt i am going to be having one inch wide of band or one inch length of band and this is how easy it is to create a band now you can do this for any um length you can do this for a length of two inches a length of three inches depending on how long you want your band to be okay not wide how long the length so this is what i have here okay this is what i'll be attaching to my skirt okay let's go ahead and sew the band to the skirt so first of all i am sewing this tight stitch on the zip so i'm going to start from the stop point of where my zip is going to sit and i'll sew this down to where my slit is going to stop okay and i'm just using a tight stitch to sew this in and this is it this is the stop point of my slit and i'm done i'll go ahead and attach my front to my back piece so this is me attaching my front to my back piece and remember that i also confirm my measurements before sewing this in okay so i can get the proper fit and the perfect fit i know the extras that i need to sew in i know the allowance that is extra or excess that i need to sew in and i'm working with that measurement okay so go ahead and confirm your measurements on your fabric or on your skirt piece before joining your front and your back piece together okay so that after you're done you try this on it is the perfect fit okay so we're on to the point where we attach the band and this is how we're attaching the band from the wrong side of my fabric um the back side the wrong side i'm going to start sewing my band from there and i'm going to be sewing by the first half an inch i folded in while ironing okay So before sewing i'm going to leave 0 0.5 inch excess out okay you can see it here the excess out 0 0.5 inch before i start sewing the band in then again i want to also at this point remind you to like this video because yes i don't do that enough and i don't do that a lot so i want to do that right now that i remembered or i am remembering that you have not liked this video go ahead and like this video right now <laughs> like this video and you can help me share if you want to i really appreciate that so once i'm done sewing from the wrong side i am going to cut out the excess i have on my band leaving 0.5 inch excess or extra and now that 0.5 inch extra i left i'm going to be turning this like this see the way i move my hand so i'll be sewing the edge in and i'll be sewing it by that 0.5 inch excess so i'll fold it to the wrong side like this and i'll sew And now once i'm done sewing from the wrong side i will cut off some excess and then i'll flip it back to the right side now all this thing is happening in the band okay so you know you can see that it's happening on the band so i flip this to the right side and then i'm gonna top stitch my band now on the right side of my skirt okay on the good side of my skirt i'm going to top stitch and i'll start from the edge here remember what i did on the edge in case you don't remember or you don't understand we're going to be repeating on the other side of the or the on the other end of the band so we're going to repeat the same step we did on that edge so close to the edge here i'll stop because i need to do the same thing i did on the other side on my band so and what i did is I am going to be turning my band to the wrong side like this this edge or turn it to the wrong side like this i'll fold it into two equal parts and i'll sew in the half an inch extra we left on the band i'll sew it and this is happening on the wrong side of the band so once i sew it i'll cut out any excess i have from the sewing
and now i'm going to flip this band back to the right side and top stitch this okay i'll continue my top stitching and when you do this process you're going to see how your band looks at last and you're going to thank me later okay so that thanking that you need to do for me later is liking my video and trust me that's okay for me like this video <laughs> So now I am done with the step of attaching my band. Voila, this is what I have. This step done, this step smashed. And now we are on to the zip. Grab your zip, girl. Grab your zip and let's attach our zip to the skirts. So this is a zip I'm working with. This is the kind of zip I always work with. I know you guys have never seen me with invisible zip, but that will be coming very soon, sooner than you expect. Like I'm going to be making outfits that I use invisible zip, okay? But anyways, I'm going to attach my zip to my skirt. And before I do that, I'm going to mark one inch upwards on the zip. So I'll grab my chalk. I'll bring my tape in. Mark one inch upwards to indicate on my zip. And now I'm going to flip my skirt to the wrong side and that one inch is going to be where I start sewing my zip from, okay? So I'm going to place that one inch on the starting point of the zip or the stop point of the zip. I'll use my pin to hold this, okay? Just because I don't want it to change or I don't want it to move. I'll just bring in my pin, pin this down and then I will start sewing my zip. Now remember we ironed this particular back side where we have the zip. I ironed it. You saw me doing that. Now the reason for the ironing was because I want to have this ghetto line or this line that happens when you iron. Okay, so I have that line and that line is my direction or my the indication of the line I need to follow to attach my zip. Okay, so the line is like a guideline. Yes, it is a guide for me to attach my zip and that is why I ironed this while I was sewing in that zip part i'll be after i sewed in the zip part okay i'll go ahead and do this on the other side of the skirts i'll turn sew the zip following the guideline that my iron created while i was ironing and i feel like a lot of you still don't understand this zip thing if you want me to do like a very slow detailed process of attaching your zip let me know in the comment section okay like just please let me know because i feel like a lot of you still don't understand how to attach your zip and it's like the very simplest thing to do when it comes to anything like when it comes to any outfit making attaching your zip is like the very simple thing to do okay so let me know now i'm going to cut out the excess of the zip that i don't want leaving only half or one inch excess so cut and leave like 0.75 or 1 inch SS. Now I'm going to fold this into my band and you'll see how. So I'll fold this into my band like this and then I'll sew on my um, band on top. Like I'll just top stitch. And the top stitching I'm top stitching is going to hold both the band and the zip and the extra band behind the fabric or behind the zip together. I don't know if you understand. And once that step is done, this is what I have. The last but not the least is for us to finish the base of the skirt and we are done. Okay, so you can see that this skirt was really easy to make. Okay, once you're able to draft out your pattern, the sewing method is like the easiest thing to do when it comes to sewing a skirt. Okay, getting your pattern right is the first thing and then sewing is like easy so on the base of my skirt i am just hemming this by quarter an inch so by 0 0.5 inch i'll hem and then i'm going to use my hemming gum to also hem the base okay so sewing it first and then using hemming gum is going to give it like this very clean finish and that is what i was going for and yes also on the slit i did the same i hemmed by quarter an inch and now i'm going to use my hemming gum to finish it up okay so i can get like a clean inner and also a clean base and you guys this brings me to the end of this video this was how i created my 
perfect fit skirt and trust me i was very proud of all the process the pattern drafting the sewing and i feel like this pattern is so right for me to just use and create more skirts okay so i might be using that same pattern to sew a lot of skirts and if i do that i am going to be filming both a vlog and a detailed process of what i'll be doing okay but anyways thank you all for watching and sticking with me on the sewing version thank you for keeping me company i hope you really enjoyed the whole process do not forget to like this video subscribe if you enjoy watching my videos and yes i'll be seeing you on the next one bye